guys, it's Andrea from the vlog Pine and Prospect Home and today I'm sharing my sunroom window bench reveal with you guys. I cannot believe how quickly this project came together. I am so pleased with the way that it all turned out. It is absolutely beautiful and this room is probably one of my favorite spots in the house now. It was already my favorite room when we moved into this house, but it's always just been an awkward space. And if you watched my sunroom plans video that I shared last month, you guys know that I've always struggled with this room because it wasn't really usable in the winter time because it got so cold and because of all the windows, furniture placement was just sort of awkward no matter what I tried. And so last week I shared with you guys how I did the desk built-in on the one side of the room. And today I'm going to share all the details about the window bench portion on the wall that you see behind me. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. Um, back in March, I believe, was it March or was it April? We insulated our sunroom. So this room is always so cold in the winter time. And last year I got a free piano and I painted it. I will put a link to that if you're interested in seeing it. But it was so cold out here in the winter time that my son had to wear a coat when he practiced the piano, so it was pretty bad. And for a long time we'd been talking about getting out here, putting insulation in the walls, and this spring we finally took on that project. My husband drilled holes all over the walls, rented a machine, filled everything with insulation, then we decided to beadboard over all of the walls. So. I love beadboard paneling, I've talked about this before. I think that it is so affordable, but it adds so much charm and character to a space. It's just very cottagey to me. And so we put beadboard on all of the walls, and after doing that, we decided to tackle the desk built-in. And like I mentioned, you can see the whole process of how we built that and, and how that whole portion came together. Um, on a separate video. Today I'm going to talk about the window bench and kind of what we did to construct it, to put it together. Mainly my husband did the building, I did more, more of the finished work, but we, we worked together as a team on these projects. And so we started off by purchasing a couple of 4x8 sheets of hardwood. And um, my husband went with 3 quarter inch hardwood. He cut all of his pieces out of it using his table saw. And then he put the shelf together with his brad nailer before actually attaching it to the wall. So he sort of set it in place, made sure everything fit okay, and then he decided to attach the shelf to the wall. Um, another thing we decided to do before he put the shelves up, I wanted to do an accent color on the shelving. And so I chose that same color, Stone Hearth by Benjamin Moore that I painted my desk. And I painted the beadboard that would go behind these shelves before actually installing the shelves. And that saved me a ton of work, a lot of cutting in. Um, and we just rolled that out real quick before installing the shelves. Another thing we decided to do was paint the shelves before putting them in place. It probably would have been easier even to paint all the individual pieces before building the shelves, but that's okay. And then my husband just attached them to the wall. Now one thing that we decided to do with the top of the shelf, it was something that I had thought of and it was actually even in my drawing, if you remember, to add arches to the top of the shelves. But I was a little bit nervous about it and I didn't know for sure, so I just mentioned it to my husband and I asked him if that's something he could try to do. And he said, sure, of course, let's try it. And so this is real fancy, guys. Wait till you hear what we did. <laughs> we actually took a large platter that I had. It's like an oval platter and the arch was perfect. We just traced that platter onto the wood <laughs> and drew our arch and then my husband cut it out with his jigsaw. So like I said, so fancy, so technical, but that thrift store platter was perfect. <laughs> and so that's how we created the arch for the top piece. Once everything was sort of in place with the shelves, I wanted each shelf to look a little bit more beefy, more substantial. So my husband took one by twos and he nailed one by twos to all of the outer edges of the shelves just to make them look a little bit more finished, a little thicker, and like I said, a, a bit more substantial. So once both of the shelves were built, attached to the wall, 
my husband decided to take on the window bench portion and he just used basic 2x4s to construct the frame of the bench and it was a little bit tricky because we had to work around the cold air return that's on the floor in here so he had to sort of notch out some of the 2x4s so that they would fit around that cold air return and if you notice on the front of the window bench we also had to add some venting of course so that air could be drawn in to that return. So once the frame was built, he wrapped the entire bench with beadboard, just like he did on the walls. And we were so lucky, I think we only had to purchase one sheet of beadboard. We'd had so much left over from our entryway project that we did last year that we didn't really have to buy a lot for this project. It was awesome. Once all the beadboard was attached to the front of the bench, I wanted to sort of frame out the bench somehow and my husband found some trim that we had used in projects before on like our fireplace built-ins and it's this three inch lattice trim it's very thin and it's perfect for projects like this and he just sort of created these panels with the lattice trim just to finish everything out on the front of the bench make it look nice and clean we finished off the bottom of the shelves and the bench with some quarter round trim and then for all of the ceilings we decided to use cove molding and one of the things he did on the shelves before adding the cove molding he cut a 1x4 down to more like a 1x3 and put that around the tops of the shelves before attaching the cove molding and I think that it looks so beautiful it, it makes it look like it's crown molding and so I really like the way that that turned out on the tops of the shelves. For the bench seat, of course, I wanted to have some storage. I wanted to be able to put things inside of the bench. And so my husband made sure to hinge the top open. We just used some small brass hinges that are perfect. And I can keep all of my vlog equipment in there, my tripod, my camera, my lights, everything goes inside of that bench. And it's so awesome now that I have a place for all those things because they sort of just floated around the house before. I didn't have a home for all of my equipment. So that has been amazing, being able to put things inside of the bench. I stained the top of the bench, which is just built with uh, one by, a 1x8 and a 1x12, I believe. And I used the stain combination that I love so much. It's a mixture of weathered oak, pickled oak, and early American by Minwax. And I will put this all in the blog post so you can reference it, but I used three parts weathered, one part pickled, and one part early American and I just mix them together. That's what I use to stain pretty much everything throughout my home. I love that combination. It's nice and warm, but it's not too yellow or too red. Everything, of course, got a final coat of paint, and I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. <laughs> I never get a white paint color mixed at the hardware store. I know it's really bad, but when we moved into this home, I just purchased white paint right off the shelf at our local True Value hardware and I painted all the trim throughout our house with just white right off the shelf. I never had any color added to it, no tint or anything. And so that's just what I continue to do over the years. It's what I've done for all the white trim throughout my home. I'm always asked what color white I use and it's just True Value white. I don't know what to tell you. It's probably not a good thing but that's just what I've always done. And so it's what I've stuck with these past eight years that we've lived here. So I wanted, of course, the walls and everything to sort of match up with the window trim and that's what I stuck with. And then the last touch on these built-ins were the brass wall sconces that I purchased. I got them on Amazon actually, and here's a little tip that I always check for, and maybe you know this already, but a lot of times on Amazon, you can buy used items so items that people maybe purchased, they didn't like it, so they returned it. Sometimes you can get even damaged items on Amazon that are really cheap, but that's a little risky because you don't necessarily know what you're getting. But I usually try to buy items that are used like new, is what the description says, I think. And that's what I did with these. I got the sconces really cheap. And actually when they arrived, they were in perfect condition. The shades were a little bit on the yellow side and so really funny another hack for you guys i purchased some fabric spray paint and i spray painted the lampshades white 
I think they turned out beautiful. And so, yep, those are spray painted shades, but I will put the link for you. If you're interested in purchasing them, just know that the shade is a little bit off white. They were meant to be hardwired, which is very interesting. And I was talking to my mom about it because I really liked these. And she said, oh, you know, your dad has done this for me before where he just connects the sconce to some lamp cords. And so I purchased some lamp cords off of Amazon. My husband wired them together with the sconce. And then we fed that lamp cord that has a little switch through some holes that my husband drilled in these shelves. And then they go right into the bench. And thankfully there's an outlet inside of this window bench. So they feed right through and they can plug in now. So that's another little hack for you guys if you're ever, you know, really wanting to use hard wired lights, but you wish you could plug them in somehow, um, it's a great option. Just purchase some lamp, <laughs> some lamp cords and connect the two together. And it worked out great for us. I love the way they look. I can flip them on really easily. They are so cozy out here when the lights are on in the evening. I just love how much charm these little lamps added to the built-ins. Okay, so let's talk about decor really quick. Everything is still closed here in Michigan, so I really had to get creative and shop my home. Of course, I think that that's perfectly fine. I think that you should do that always. Shop your home before you go looking for extra decor and spend money that you don't need to. And so that's what I did. I just started kind of going through my decor stash, seeing what I had, trying different things. And it's very simple what I, what I came up with, very minimal, but I really love how it looks right now. A few other changes that you may have noticed in here, I did end up getting new blinds in here, or shades I guess you can call them. They're Roman shades from Select Blinds. And I love these blinds. They are cordless, so no more scary cords. I know in my last video I told you guys that the cords in here really scared me because the kids were out here a lot looking through the windows, messing with the cords, and so the fact that I don't have to worry about those cords anymore is so amazing. I'm going to put a link in the description below for the exact shades that we purchased. They are absolutely beautiful. I went with the color Fiji Honey. I love the warmth that they add to this space. I love the texture. You can pull them down and put them up so easily. Let me show you real quick here how simple it is. You just grab this little ring that's right tucked behind here, pull them down. So easy. And lift them back up and they are absolutely gorgeous. We love these and we're so thankful that we had the opportunity to work with Select Blinds on this project. They have so many gorgeous options available if you go to their site. I actually have Select Blinds roller shades in my living room and my dining room as well. It's, it's actually a very popular post on my blog and I'll put a link for that if you're interested in checking those out as well. But those are also cordless. So they're a great option if you have little children like I do. The last change that we made in here was the rug. We actually got a new rug for this space. It's from Well Woven. And I am so happy with the way this rug looks in this space. I will put the exact link to this rug in my description. But you guys, this rug is so pretty. It's like a blue green color and parts of the rug are faded so that it almost looks like an antique, like it's vintage. And the little fringe detail on the edge is absolutely gorgeous. That just adds even more detail and charm to this rug. I love that it adds a pop of color to this room because I really don't have a ton of color going on in here. It is such a beautiful rug. So make sure you check my description so that you can go check this rug out. I purchased a five by eight for this room. I couldn't go any larger than that because it's, it's a small space but we just love this rug. It's so soft and so beautiful, and I love just the vintage feel that it has. Overall, I am just so in love with the way this room came together. I know I keep saying that, but honestly, I feel like it was just yesterday that I was showing you guys this space and walking you through and sharing my ideas and my plans and my drawings. I just can't believe that it's finished. It really went by so quickly and I have already been painting out here and oh, I just love being out here, especially in the afternoon when the sun fills all of the windows. It is just such, 
such a beautiful space and I'm so thankful for my husband and all the hard work that he put in. He really did capture my vision perfectly. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Hopefully I covered everything. If you are new to my channel, please be sure and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.